Hi guys, welcome to this new tutorial. Today I will be talking about figurines for your Christmas villages. Two generic topics, sorry, rephrase it please. Today I will be talking about painting, modifying and restoring figurines for your Christmas villages. Better? Okay. Why? For multiple reasons. Mainly because one day you may decide to buy this figurine here. This is a Santa Claus from a Lemax collection. And if you are old as I am, it may happen that you forget to have bought it. So you may buy a new one or someone may have gift you with another identical Santa Claus from Lemax. So now you have two identical figurines. In reality, they are not exactly identical as they are and made, but I will be more precise in some minutes when I will be doing a full close-up. But let's say you have those two identical figurines. Oh, sorry for the noise. And if you hate having duplicate figurines in your Christmas village, and if you also hate wasting precious figurines for your Christmas village, you will need to find a solution and the quickest and easiest solution will be to repaint one of them so you will be able to use both in your Christmas village. Also another reason, when it is off season I tend to go hunting for rare items. Not in nature hunting of, your, of course but online hunting. And sometime if I'm lucky I will find online in Europe some rare items. Why am I specifying this? Simply because I know that uh, the largest market for our rare items is US and all the auctions, uh, all the in offers put online in US. But with the extremely high import duties and the shipping cost, the item will be exaggerated to uh, expensive to buy it. Sometimes I, I choose to do it, to go that way, but I prefer to buy online. And the European market isn't so, um, so uh, full of rare items simply because the tradition of uh, Lemax villages, of Christmas villages, is not that uh, old in Europe. Exception made for uh, Netherlands with the uh, Kerstdorp tradition uh, that uh, uh, will make available even uh, Lemax products, even uh, Department 56 uh, and uh, Dickens Village items, even in Europe. But they are a case apart. Only 10, 12, 13 years ago, Lemax items were almost unknown all around Europe. So, Luckily, sometimes I find online in Europe rare items such like this one. This is uh, Grandma with gem, if I'm correct. Yes. And this item is uh, from, I'm sorry, I need to read. In, it has been made the first time in 2003 and it has been retired in 2018. So for Europe, a very rare item, almost uh, 17 years old, so very difficult to find here. But, as you may have noticed, I find it. But it is absolutely awful painted. Uh, Grandma here, luck is, it's uh, her uh, walking stick here. I will put a picture of it, a real picture of it. Uh, an original picture of it, sorry, just somewhere right now. And also, it isn't uh, suited for a Caddington Christmas a Village. Why? Because this is from Harvest Crossing collection from Lemax, and it is ambiented in the 50s, 60s in US. So, uh, too far um, in time compared to a uh, uh, Victorian era Christmas village. So in this case I will have to modify 
repaint and restore everything. This will be a full, a total um, make up for grandma ear. But sometimes I also find this other item. This is uh, from uh, 2010 collection, Lemax collection. It is from Caddington collection, well suited. This is the uh, Holy Gatherer. I, I'm sorry, I need to read because I don't know their name uh, uh, right now as they are new items for me. And in this case, I will simply need to uh, correct uh, some painting errors. But I have found another rare item for my uh, next Christmas village. Or sometime I may find uh, good figurines from other collections. In this case, this one, it is from Louisville. It is a Dutch company, a, Nether a company from the Netherlands. And it is from 2018 collection. It is named Arbor Ditch. Maybe not precisely Victorian, uh, here a Victorian time, but not a big difference with uh, uh, figurines from Victorian era. Uh, but in this case, you have an arbor here completely surrounded by a water. <laughs> Very difficult to get on top of the arbor without uh, getting on, I don't know, before on a beach. Uh, so uh, I will need to at least to repaint some part of it. Yes, you may say this is ice, so uh, it could have work on ice. Yes, but. I don't like it so even if it is and brand new never been used but uh, uh, I needed to um, repaint it so that's uh, what I will be doing in the uh, next minutes uh, so I will be seeing you in three two one let's go hi again guys so let's start with the two identical Santa Clauses <laughs> not perfectly identical as I will show you in just some seconds and just uh, forgive me if in the next minutes you will see some uh, shadows like that uh, here some shadows but I need to use my magnifying glasses as I will do I will need to do some precise work so I need a light and a magnifying glasses um, let's see in details. Here you have uh, one of the two um, Santa Clauses. You may notice the precision in painting uh, the teddy bear, the ices, the, the uh, rapid gift here and everything else. Maybe not enough white on uh, the uh, Santa's uh, costume there because it is too uh, pinkish here and there because uh, uh, generally these um, uh, figurines, these poly, those polyresin figurines are completely uh, pink uh, when before being painted. Exception made for some cases. This is the exact same figurines but you may notice how badly, how poorly they it has been painted uh, for example here for the uh, eye one uh, one big black eye the other one very thin here it seems that this teddy bear has some uh, mustaches here two big eyes is very and the two uh, packages aren't the same here very well defined here almost not almost not defined here some problems in painting the belt the black pe belt here Th this is not very well painted here so the trousers lack some painting here too but i will try to correct them so not the same exact identical some black here that shouldn't have been there and here the um, the side of the red cap not perfectly painted in red so both figurines need to be perfected but let me just consider this one the first and the only one i will need to go and just simply repaint it a little bit this one so this santa the other santa here will be completely repainted and also notice that the hands and the um, face here have been um, repainted because the color isn't the same. 
so this one has been repainted and I think that this one uh, is not will um, is not uh, pink this one will be completely white uh, once I've removed the painting this one is from pink polyresin this one is from made from white polyresin anyway I will do it the same way let's go let's start with this one and I will put it into some hot boiling what not at the moment but it was hot boiling let me just put it in the water for the next many uh, minutes and let me just mm, took this one out of the scene let's start with uh, uh, this jolly uh, gatherer the, this holly gatherer here uh, i just shown you it doesn't some problems here you may see that the this should be uh, green, but instead it is uh, uh, whitish or grayish. The rest is uh, good enough. Uh, the cape here isn't perfectly gray, has uh, some mm, dirt here and there, but I like it right there. Not so much to modify, maybe the, the shoes. Maybe the shoes needs to be painted in black, because I don't really like them right there. Uh, I was talking about difference in a, a in era. Look at the skirt of uh, grandma here. Too short because this is from the 50s. So I will need to make the uh, skirt longer and reaching this configuration here. This one is from uh, Caddington Lemax. This is one. This one is from Harvest Crossing collection. I was telling you that it is poorly painted look here some gray uh, here yeah, on top of the pink and also it uh, la and run my luck uh, her a uh, walking stick here but i will doing it in some uh, minutes so now let's start with uh, uh, the holly gatherer maybe uh, some uh, uh, work to do on the nose here because it's not absolutely perfectly pink I have some traces of uh, of uh, black here and so I will need to also to need some uh, pink color in uh, all around the nose but let's start with some green here and there in order to correct the 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 problems uh, in the overall problems so let's start with some uh, green i'm going with some green i don't know if this is good no it is um uh, not too dark okay so let's try this other one yes maybe this one will be good
and this is done I think finally done done let me go with uh, this Santa here so let's talk about just need to add some white here and there okay let me just add some white now some red if I can remove some of the color here let's check yes it's starting to peel away oh sorry you aren't seeing what I'm doing I'm just scratching Santa ear I won't be able to remove all the painting simply because it is too old and simply because they haven't used some acrylic colors to do it and if you are not using acrylic color it will be very difficult to do clean let me just do it for some more minutes then I will be back to you with the final result okay 15 minutes later so 15 minutes later i'm still here scratching santa's ear but i am almost done i won't be able to remove all the color but i uh, don't care right now okay so let's say it is good enough like that okay 
Okay, let me just use some paper here, remove some water from here, and let's proceed from this point here. I have different colors of plastic of, of resin, uh, as you can see right now. So let's try to go from here. I just need to be that, that Santa need to be perfectly dry. So let me use some more paper. in order to okay oops sorry i'm moving the camera too much okay now let's go from that point on and let's hope not to do too much of a mess <laughs>
Okay guys, so both Santas have been done. I just finished both of them and you can see that I don't know if you can see it but they are completely different. What was red now is green and what was green now is red. Okay, everything is done, teddy bear done and uh, gifts done. I've inverted the color of this gift here and also used some green here. Uh, the candy, the teddy bear is done. Okay, Santa's is done, Isis, uh, mustache and everything else. The belt is done and okay. So now you can see that you can use both of them. Now it's time for the last big work to do modify here grandma with gem i don't like the colors i don't like the skirt here i will have to uh, make it uh, longer than the walking stick there and then i will remove the purse the handbag i don't want the handbag the purse it wasn't used at that time so let's go okay guys so let me just remove the purse here okay Okay, sometimes I need to be brutal, but it is like that. This is poly resin, so I will need to do. Okay, so now what I will need to do, I will need to get the skirt longer. I will need to use some modeling clay like this one. This will be white modeling clay. Let me just open it some way. Okay. Let me cut some of it right there and let me remove some more of it and I will go like this.
now I will also need some skewers and let's try I'm now using some some water I'm just using a little bit of water to make the surface completely smooth or as smooth as possible So guys now here it is what I've done okay I need to paint it okay so let's try to go to do some crazy colors here I want to go with some crazy colors here and uh, so let's go okay let's go fool me once fool me twice when you're hiding things, might as well be lies Can you ever get it right? How long will I let this lie? Hit up my girls, pull up, I'm outside Wait about a curb, too upset to drive you Getting on my nerves, we gon' get lit on this ride I look too good to fight, don't expect me to come home Trying to get you to wake up I ain't coming 
coming, don't wait up Can't ignore my intuition, baby I know you're typing every game you try to play stick or the walking stick if you prefer
I think this is done okay just need to get drier I went with crazy grandma here but uh, this is done okay so now let it dry and let's finish with this one so I don't like it very much like this. Uh, I need to find a solution here. Here, okay, here water, okay, here water, and here not water. So let me do some some brown I was out waiting for something and if I close my eyes it's all been a waste of time I was out driving every mile and now if I rewind it's all been a waste of time
when meeting your friends Please forgive my attitude I want my cake and eat it too But a little grace would be enough for me Alright And done guys done really done guys and that's all i think you can see that i modified and i've changed some colors okay so for now i think that this is done everything is done let me just remove this one one last catch to both santa's let me remove this, 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 everything here, the two Santas that were identical, okay, and the grandma here, completely modified, and now it is completely uh, Caddington style, okay. I'm gone very crazy colors, but I like this one like that. Okay, so thank you guys. See you in just a few seconds for the outro. Bye. Finally, my outro, guys. It has been a long day, a long afternoon, a long evening. And guys, yes, it is 1.02 uh, a.m. now, but I needed to finish this full tutorial. Uh, of not having been <laughs> too boring for you but now you know precisely how to paint repaint modify and restore figurines for your christmas villages and once upon a long time ago there was a little santa claus from lemax that had an identical twin brother but now the case is no more and so <laughs> you will have to figurines uh, both uh, usable for your christmas uh, villagers also grandma with the jam took a jump back to the past and now she is uh, completely adapted to your uh, for any caddington uh, christmas village for any victorian era christmas uh, village she is no more from from the 50s or the 60s and she is completely in line with the trend from Caddington Collection as all the recent figurines are uh, colorful and uh, so uh, grandma now it is uh, ready for your next uh, uh, Victorian era Christmas village. So as always please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up here. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English, and if you wish, see you next time.